Hello, I'm Father Joe Gambala, pastor of St. Malachi Catholic Church in Sterling Heights, Archdiocese of Detroit. Today is November the 23rd, and welcome to Saint of the Day. And our saint today is Pope Clement I. Pope Clement I lived in the very first century. He was a citizen, a free man living in Rome at various jobs. A young man, he met St. Peter, who had become the Bishop of Rome. And after many meetings and prayers, he accepted baptism by St. Peter himself and was involved in the early church. Now, Clement was not in Rome at the time of the persecution, which where St. Peter and many of the Christians were martyred. He returned to Rome later and worked with what was left of the Christian community and prayed with them and helped them grow to the best of his abilities. There is a letter that he wrote to the church in Corinth, which is now in modern-day Greece, in order to solve the dispute between certain priests. And that letter is the first written document that we have of the exercise of the Pope in Rome over the church as a whole. Is that letter from Pope Clement I. Well, eventually he's arrested under the Emperor Trajan, and he's exiled to what is now modern Crimea in the south of Russia. And he was put to work in the mines, a terrible fate. And he was pushing these carts of ore among all the other uh, prisoners there. Most of them were pagan. But they saw in Clement a holiness, and, and some began to be so impressed by it that they wanted that for themselves. And so many accepted Christianity and were baptized. Well, the story goes that the... Uh, the Roman official in charge of the mines um, wasn't very good about feeding or even giving water to, this, to, these, to the prisoners, and the miners were suffering very badly from thirst. So Christian prayed over a certain area in the mine, and a spring bubbled up, and fresh water came out, and the miners, miners drank and drank. Well, this infuriated the Roman officials so that they tied Clement to a giant anchor and threw him to his martyrdom in the Black Sea. He is known as the first apostolic father of the church. 